hi guys welcome to my channel so i am in my bathroom because i wanted to share one of my tips and tricks whenever i have items that are fraying how i remedy it and what i do in order to stop them from fraying yes you can cut them off but for some fabrics you usually have to go and extra step because it would continue to fray no matter what you do and as soon as you start wearing it it's gonna start fraying again so this is one of the tricks that has worked for me over the years ever since i was in the caribbean when um i didn't have like tons of clothes so i had to really preserve what i have in order for me to get longevity and lots of wear out of my clothing items so this is what i had done in the past and that still works for me today i am sharing it with you but i am i am a bit con concerned and i want you to take the utmost caution whenever you're doing this i was skeptical as to whether or not to share it but you are adults and you're responsible and hopefully you would see from what i'm doing that um it's not something to play with and it's something that you do quickly and efficiently so as not only to achieve um, the objective but to ensure that you're safe and that you're doing it in a safe environment with the right type of fabric so yes yeah, so all you need is scissors and oh my god this is the tricky part this is where the huge caution tail comes in in my country i often use a candle but here i use a lighter so those are the two main tools that you need for this task well also i would love for you to be close to a sink just in case there is a fire and you would see why so yeah a sink is important so of course you need your item that is being frayed so I would show you, I would demonstrate to you what I do. And again, please proceed with caution. Huge, big warning. If you are younger, make sure you have an adult or a friend next to you before you try this at home. It's for experts like me who have been doing it for ages and because i've done it and it has worked for me i've decided to share it with you but it comes with a huge big enormous gigantic gigantic if that's how you pronounce it huge huge <laughs> caution but i definitely hope that it helped saves a number of your items that you have in your wardrobe just like me and that it works for you just as it has worked for me in the past as well as now so this is a item that I have shown you from my last haul it's definitely not in good shape guys so in order for me to get anywhere in out of this I have to fix it as you can see this piece from Zafu is badly damaged it's like this they never actually sewed the ends in so in the pockets it's everywhere so I normally cut it off but even when you cut it off it still continues to fray and getting rid of the extra fraying threads is critical because 
if you don't because of the length of them when you apply heat to it it can definitely caught fire so this is a very important step if the fraying if the threads are too long you must cut them off with the scissors and that way you can work with the shorter um, frayed area so it doesn't cause a fire hazard and of course so now I'm just continue to trim the edges so that I could prepare to apply heat to it so now you would see that I am about to apply the heat and as I do so I do so with very quick application because you don't want to keep the flame to the fabric no matter whether or not it is non flammable you still want to do it very quickly in very swift precise movements and you do so quickly along the edges and you just continue and repeat this process as quickly and as much as possible so that you don't cause any damage to the actual fabric itself and you repeat this process throughout wherever you see fraying on your item as I've mentioned before always always cut off the extra long threads so that it doesn't cause a fire or you don't burn yourself or hurt yourself in any way so here all I'm simply doing is to just repeat the process where I am experiencing fraying throughout the whole item and this item was pretty damaged guys it was fraying everywhere in the pockets on the sides so I had to do a, a whole makeover of this fabric and of this item sorry and I know that for some people this is too much work but this is me and my determination to get some wearing out of my item because I've spent my money and I do need some wearing out of this so hence my determination to get it done and to get it done so that I can wear it So when I'm done each area, I like to test to see whether or not my item would still fray. And that's what I do. I pull on the edges when I finish sealing them. And when you're done sealing, you're likely to feel that it feels like it has definitely been sealed. Similar to when you have sealed your braids i don't know if anyone here has experience with sealing braids and like many youtubers have shown you when you seal the ends of your braid so that it doesn't un unravel this is a similar process i am sealing my item so that it doesn't fray anymore it is definitely the same concept except that this is with fabric so the same caution that you use whenever you are sealing your braids it's the same caution that should be applied here and you would definitely test it by pulling on the fabric and you would notice here that there is no fraying it is sealed and this would definitely last you for the lifetime of this item at least in my experience it does so here it is guys 
as you've seen from my last video, which I hope you did, <laughs> this is how I would wear this piece. And it's only by sealing it and by securing it this way, that's the only how I was able to get some wearing out of this item. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Love you. Bye.